Hi, it's Silver <laughs> and Thing and me, Izzy. <laughs> we are going to make some cranberry bars for you today for a happy harvest. It is a recipe out of Jennifer Brockman's cookbook, Mama. A Country Life. Mama. Uh, she also has this published on her blog, so I think it's okay to share. I'll link to her blog. You can go find it for yourself or buy her cookbook. I highly recommend it because if you like kind of that churchy style cool with all the different stuff in it, you're going to love this book. I, I'm excited. And the second volume is out now too, so I'm going to order that. We're going to need two eggs, beaten eggs, sugar. How much sugar? One half cup. One and a half cups. Half cup butter or one stick, right? Yeah. One and a half cups of flour. Flour. Teaspoon of baking powder. <laughs> half teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah. Sorry, Jennifer, if you're watching this, we're gonna use more vanilla because yeah, vanilla. vanilla. It's yeah. Vanilla. Two cups of cranberries, which is one of these handy dandy bags which I bought last year on clearance at Aldi. Yes, I'm one of those people. I wait until the cranberries are on clearance and then I like go buy a bunch because I love cranberries. And one half of a cup of chopped walnuts or pecans. I do. You don't have to use nuts. You can omit them if you want to. They make a great crunch, but if you have like a nut allergy, don't even worry about it because they're still delicious either way. We've done them both. We're going to get our ingredients together, whip it up, and bake. I don't think Izzy's digging this. I don't know. What do you think? She's just shy. <laughs> She's shy. Guys, welcome back to another awesome video. Today we're going to be doing some pro Fortnite gaming. So here's a little tip. Aiden's talking about our, our buckling goat, so don't mind him. Apparently male goats like to uh, anoint themselves with their own um, ways. To be attractive to ladies, they like to anoint their faces in particular, so... It doesn't yes. work in here with humans. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> Alright, so I sprayed the pan with cooking spray. And now I'm just spraying my parchment. And what this will do is just help facilitate getting the bars out a little bit easier. Okay, Miss Izzy Beth is cracking up two eggs. One, two. <laughs> And then she's going to pour in, that's fine. And then she's going to pour in that cup and a half of sugar. Wait, yep, pour the cup and a half of sugar in there. There you go, Tootsie. Tootsie roll. Tootsie roll. No. You know, we are recording, right, ladies? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all scurly. You just scooch over just a little bit. And then I am actually going to add the vanilla now. It says add it later, but whatever, we'll add it now. And this is actually a vanilla bean paste, so it's going to be extra numbers. It's totally... And then she's going to also mix in a stick of butter. Because butter makes everything better. No, We had to break for a little bit of a... Uh, Inter intervention, yes. Mr. Christopher feels that he's about 30 years old and the father of all these kids and he has to be reminded frequently that he is not. Elizabeth is adding a stick of butter. Oh my gosh, even the oven is interrupting. I can't even. Oh my gosh, I can't even right now. I have this cat with his it's interruptions. Oh my gosh. It's a kick Thank you, Queen. And look at her. She's not wasting a bit. That's awesome. Thank you, Izzy. That's what I do every time. Mix it up, bro. Yeah. I put her on my hands. While she's doing that, I'm going to chop up half a cup of pecans. Because we were awful muddy in this house. No. No. <laughs> okay, mix. Aiden, you're not helping. <laughs> okay, so we mixed the flour, which is one and a half cups, baking powder, which was a teaspoon, half teaspoon of salt, 
um, together and those are going to get poured into the bowl by the lovely Ms. Elizabeth while I keep cutting up pecans. The nice thing about this recipe, we've been making it for years, is it's super simple and it's so delicious. And it looks like it's not going to come together like it's very thick when you dump in the, the uh, frozen cranberries. When you do fresh, it's not quite so much, but we like to use frozen. At the end, it will work out, I promise. It's so good. And then we have this delectable cream cheese icing that goes over the top. It's absolutely divine. Um, if you haven't seen Jennifer's channel, Country Life, make sure you head over because she makes a, a lot of really good food. Their family's cranberry farmers up in Wisconsin. I would love to meet her someday. I think, uh, I think we'd get along pretty well. She's a fellow homeschooling mama like me, so that's always fun. All right, Miss Elizabeth, how's it going over there, baby? Thick. It is thick. <laughs> All right, while you're doing that, I'm gonna pour the cranberries in the bowl just to be sure we don't have any weirdness going on. I picked through them already, but we'll make sure. Yeah, they look fine. None of them are rotten or anything. Now I'm gonna add the pecans to the cranberries. How you doing over there, Toast? It's gonna to get even thicker here in a sec. My arms are You want me to take a turn? Yeah. All right, okay. I'm coming over. Like I said, this is, this is a very thick, 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 thick dough. And if it seems like it's too thick when you're, when you're working it, you can actually um, go ahead and add like a little bit of milk or something. This or you is, can hand mix it. You know, honestly, this one's kind of rough on a hand mixer <laughs> because it is so thick. Yeah, I couldn't handle cookie dough. Yeah. So right now you can see it's kind of like, it's almost the texture of like a sugar cookie dough. And then we are going to add in the cranberries and pecans. Yay. And this part, okay, Use guys, don't judge. Don't judge. I'm using my hands. Just you know, Obviously, you can use a mixer, like if you use a stand mixer or something, that's fine. A hand mixer can handle it, but I have the original hand mixer, and it works very, very well. So I just want to get it mixed together. Get the cranberries folded in, get the get the nuts folded in, get make a mess. You know, it's not baking if you don't make a little bit of a mess, right, Izzy? You have to snack. Eat yeah. the dough. Well, I'm not eating the dough because not to be snobbish, it's store eggs. I, I like eating raw eggs when it's home. We have like raw eggnog and stuff all the time, but but when it's store bought, I just I don't trust that the same, you know what I mean? Because you don't know how old the eggs are, you don't know the conditions the chickens lived in. All right, so believe it or not, this is ready to put in the pan. This is the fun part, right, Izzy? I don't know. I've never made these. Yeah, you have. Uh -huh. Maybe you don't remember. We did once. At least I think you helped me, didn't you? Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. If you didn't, this is the fun part. Because now is when we mush it all out. Mush, mush. You want to get it as relatively even as you can. When this bakes, it will puff up. Not a ton, but some. So, you know, this is a labor of love. Trust me when I say it's worth it. It's delicious. If you wanted these to be thicker, you could totally use a smaller pan or you could just double the recipe. They would be really thick if you doubled it though. So I would say just use like an eight by, what would it be like eight by something? I don't even know. Not eight by eight. Maybe it's nine by 11. This is a nine by 13. It's a cute little pan. I found at Aldi, I think like last year. I kind of dig collecting um, glass baking dishes because I like to make a lot of freezer meals. I really don't like using foil if I can avoid it. So I, I go to our local um, thrift stores and such. And like right now they're having a half off sale. So I get one of these pans for $3 and then I just pay a buck 50 for it. So it works out really well. It's better for the environment because you're not throwing away a bunch of foil pans. You don't have to worry about aluminum. Uh, it's just, that's my tip for you is if you want to get a bunch of containers for baking and food storage and stuff, go check out your local thrift stores because even foil pans are like crazy expensive. I was like, what? When I, when I looked at them. During during 2020, for some reason, they, the price of them really spiked at our local grocery store. Um, it was kind of weird. But anyway, 
here we go. This is it. These beautiful, beautiful. Now we're just going to make a nice, simple icing for these bars. We have our powdered sugar and some butter. Delicious Kerrygold butter. Usually I save that for my sourdough bowls, but this time I made an exception. And then we're going to use a half a package of cream cheese. It does add a nice savory note to this. This is a very sweet icing. I'm just warning you now. If you like a nice, sweet, fluffy icing, this is the one for you. And then we just got our vanilla bean paste and our milk, and we're just going to whisk this up until it gets a really nice, fluffy, soft texture to it. It doesn't take too long. And then you just put it on your bars. You want to wait until they're relatively cool to ice them. And I'm just going to put the icing right on here. Don't have an offset offset spatula. Just use what you do have. Doesn't really matter. You can even use your finger if you need to. And here you go. Eggs, yeah. Yep, we got eggs. The kids are panting because they apparently ran back from the cow pen, I'm guessing. Yes, first <laughs> I did. Izzy, would you grab a plate? Okay. All right, <laughs> get the last icing here. Who wants the bowl? No, I don't want frosting. <laughs> no! I guess Aiden doesn't want the frosting. I'll take this. Okay. As you can tell, Aiden is of the no frosting on my bars camp. All right. Yeah, it's a good icing. Mm -hmm. Now, for the big moment. Just gonna cut it across. Gotta have the corner piece, right? Looks like get all the crunchy bits. Mm. Pardon my children's coughing. They're getting over a cold, and though they're not, not contagious anymore, it's a lingering cough. It's kind of annoying for everybody. All right. Here's a fork. What better way to Harold and Paul with beautiful cranberry bars?